Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this poncho here. Now, this is called a high-low poncho. Um, and as you can see, it's a lot higher in the front than it is in the back. And that's how, why it's called a high-low poncho. Um, it's actually really easy to do. Here's the front of it. So it's cropped pretty low, probably a little bit below the belly button. And then um, it goes down lower in the back here down probably way past your bottom the point will and of course you can adjust the length to whatever you want it to be and it does have the cowl neck on it here and that's something that is optional you can leave that off if you want you can make it bigger or smaller um, that's you know all dependent on what you want to do but I think it turned out really nice so let's go ahead and get started on it Okay, I want to take a minute to not to uh, ask everybody not to forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you never miss a video tutorial when I put one on. Uh, special thanks so today for uh, Red Heart for providing today's yarn for me. Today I'm using their uh, Super Saver um, Ombre, which is a medium weight, four ply, 100% acrylic yarn. The color I am using is Spearmint and there are 482 yards per skein and I went through almost two full skeins so you will need two skeins of this to finish this poncho. Um, if you want to make it longer than mine you will definitely need to get another skein but to do it like me two will be plenty and please don't forget to check out redheart.com where there's you'll find thousands of free crochet and knitting patterns and i'm sure that you'll find something there that you like and you can check below for the link to where you can purchase this yarn and also for the link to where you can get the free red and pattern on my website for this poncho and then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So you want to start off with a chain of 86. Now, once you get your long chain of 86 made without twisting it, you want to follow it down to your first stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and we're going to chain one. For row one, we're going to go right back, or round one, we're going to go right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning. like this. So one single crochet every stitch all the way around your big ring here until you get back to your starting point. Okay once you make it back around at the end of round one you should have a total of 86 stitches. So you want to go on an end by slip stitching into your first single crochet not the chain one we made, but the first single crochet. And now in round one. For round two, we're going to chain one. Now this is a five point poncho. So we're going to make our first point right now. And we're going to do that in the very same stitch that we just slip stitched to. So we're going to go ahead and put two double crochets through that stitch. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to go back into the same stitch and put two more double crochets. And that creates our first point. Like that. Now we're going to work across and we're going to put one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. Make sure you get this very first one. Sometimes it can hide. 
So one double into the next 10. And there's 10. Now we're going to make our next point. Now this next point we make is, is it the back part of the poncho. It's the longest part that you will see on the poncho. So what we're going to do in this next stitch is we're going to work three double crochets through the stitch. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to work a chain of three. One, two, three, and then we're going to go back into the same stitch again and work three more double crochets into that same stitch. So there's one, two, and three. Now again, we're going to work one double crochet into the next ten stitches. And there's 10. Now we're going to work another point. This time we're going to do into the next stitch. We're going to work two double crochets right into it. Chain of two. And two more double crochets. Just like that. So now we have made three points this these are our side points and these are this big one here is is the very back of the poncho so now what we're going to do is work one double crochet into the next 20 stitches so you just start off with the next stitch and you want to put one double crochet into the next 20 so that was one two three four, five. Okay, I did my 20 double crochets there in a row, and now I'm going to work my fourth point. And what I'm going to do in the next stitch is work one double crochet, a chain of two, and then one more double crochet, just like that. So now this is going to be the front of the poncho that we're getting ready to work right now. So what we're going to do now is put one double crochet into the next 21 stitches. So we just start off putting one double crochet in every stitch until you reach 21 stitches in a row. Remember, not 20, 21. You got to have 21 this time. Okay, once you get your 21 stitches done in a row, we're going to make our fifth and final point into the next stitch. We're going to put one double, a chain of two, and one more double crochet into that same stitch. Now what we're going to do is put one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches, and you should have 20 stitches that remain. So go ahead and put one double crochet into the last 20 stitches. Okay, I made it to the end of round two. I did my 20, I have my 20 stitches there at the end. 
So I want to end round two by slip stitching into my very first double crochet that I made. Not the chain one, but the very first double crochet. And you should have 99 stitches now at the end of round two. Now we'll go ahead and look what we got here so you can kind of get an idea of what we're doing. I don't know why my piece is all tangled up here, but here is the the long point in the back like I said and these are the two sides and then the short points up here are going to be the front of the poncho so that's how we're going to work it so we're going to start round three now round three is one of the repeat rows we will be repeating round three and four for the rest of the project so what we want to do to start off round three is slip stitch into this first chain two space. So we'll be slip stitching. We slip stitched already to end the round. So we're going to slip stitch two more times to get to that chain two space. Just like that. And we're going to chain one. And in this chain two space, we're going to do another point. We're going to do two double crochets. A chain of two and then two more double crochets in to that point and we're into that chain two space and that makes a point so we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip this one and double crochet into the next and then we're going to chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one, double crochet into the next. And we're going to repeat this, chain one, skip one, until we get to our next point. I'll just go ahead and get there real quick. Skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. Okay, I'm at my next point. I have one stitch here before it. You will always have one stitch before every single point. So you always want to, when you're on this row, you always want to make sure you chain one, skip that one stitch, and then go in to the point. Just make sure you chain one. And this is our sharp, the sharpest point, the one that's in the back. So we got to go into that and put three double crochets. A chain of three and then three more double crochets and then we're going to repeat what we did before we're going to chain one skip that first one and double crochet into the next chain one skip the next one and double crochet into the next and we're going to do this chain one skip one until we get to our next point okay i've made it to my next point and i do have one stitch there remember you always have when you're working on this chain one skip one row you always have one stitch before every point make sure you chain one skip that one and work into the point and you got to put two double crochets, a chain of two, and two double crochets into this point. And then we'll start again by chaining one, skip the first one, and double crochet into the next. And we're going to repeat the same thing. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next until we get to our next point. Okay, I've made it to my next point, and I'm going to chain one, skip this one right here, and I'm going to work into the next chain two space, one double, chain two, and one more double. And now we're working across the front of the poncho. So we're just going to keep repeating this 
chain one, skip one, chain one, skip the first one, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, double into the next. We repeat that until we get to our next point, which would be right here. When we get to that point, we just do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the point, and then we start our chain one, skip one again until we get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round three, and sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what you need to do here. But I chained one, and then I will skip this one, and you need to do a double crochet into the stitch that you slip stitched into the previous row, and sometimes it's hard to tell, but it's kind of right here, and it's a little tight, but you go right into that one. And then you will chain one, and there'll be one left to skip here. It's also one that you slip stitched into, so it's kind of hard to see it too. But skip that one and end round three by slip stitching into your first double crochet, like that. Okay, when you end round three, the best way to count the stitches is you have 18 more stitches every round than you did before. Now that is counting these chain one spaces as stitches. Not the points, not the chain twos, or not the chain threes. Counting the chain ones and the stitches. So it would be one, two, don't count that one, the chain two space, three, four, and then you count the chain one spaces, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Did not count that big chain three space. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So on like that. So you'll have 117 this round. It's always counting them with chain one spaces. Only the chain one spaces and only the double crochets. 117, it's always 18 more stitches than you had the round before. So now we're gonna start round four by slip stitching to our first chain two space. So we have to slip stitch two times. There's one and there's two. Now this round's pretty easy. We're just gonna chain one and we're going to go ahead and put our first point right here into the chain two space. So it's two double crochets, a chain of two, and then two more doubles. And now it's going to be one double crochet in every stitch and every chain one space until we get to the next point. So go ahead and put one double crochet into the very first stitch. Don't forget this one because sometimes it does hide underneath other stitches. And double crochet into the next and then double crochet into the next right into the next chain one space and into the next stitch and into the next chain one space and into the next stitch and we were going to repeat this into the next chain one space into the next stitch until we get to our next point. Now I'll go ahead and finish because I'm almost there. into the next chain one space and we're almost to a point so you just do one double crochet and every stitch till you get to the chain two space of the point or this will be the chain three space here now we're at our sharpest point again so here we got to put three double crochets a chain of three and three more double crochets. Like that. 
and then we'll continue one double crochet in every stitch and one double crochet in every chain one space until we get to our next point through the chain one space and into the next double crochet through the chain one space and into the next double crochet and we're going to repeat this all the way around so I'm going to do that until I get to my next point when I get to my next point it'll be the same as it was the previous round two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then I'll continue putting one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space until I get to my next point which will be the same as the previous point which is one double crochet chain two one double crochet continue my repeat of putting one double crochet into every stitch and to every chain one space to your next point and that'll be the same as the previous point one double crochet chain two one double crochet and this continue your repeat until you get back to the beginning okay I'm coming to the end of round four and it does look a little funny because this is where we slip stitched so you want to make sure you get every stitch I'm going into that double crochet and then this chain one space and then there'll be two double crochets left here and they're kind of hard to see because they have slip stitches in them but you can go right into the very first one here be kind of tight to get into and then the next one would be right up here make sure you get those last two and you want to go ahead and end round four by slip stitching into your first double crochet and remember you should have 18 more stitches than you did the round before so you had 117 last round that was counting the double crochets and the chain one spaces you'll have 135 this round so now the pattern is just a repeat of rounds three and four so again to start round five we're just going to repeat round three so we'll just slip stitch two times over to our first chain two space chain one and then we'll just work our point the same point that we worked the previous round which is two double crochet chain two and two double crochet and then we start our chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one double into the next so we're just going to keep repeating rounds three and four so we're on round five now i'm just repeating round three three and four for a total of 24 rounds and that's 24 including this very first round of double crochet we're counting that one, or very first round of single crochet we're counting that as round one two three four we're on round five now so just keep repeating rounds three and four until you hit a total of 24 rounds remember you can make it longer if you want um or shorter but if you do make it longer you're probably going to need more yarn than what i said in the beginning but the length is up to you i mean you can keep going or however you want to do it but now i'm going to put the neck on so i'm going to put my poncho inside out because my neck's going to fold down and when i fold it down i want the um, right side of the stitches to be facing me so put your work wrong side out where the stitches are facing wrong and bring the back around to where we put the three double crochets the chain three and the three double crochets so right here is the back wrong side of my work and the back of my work and here you can see i put my three doubles i chain three and i three doubles so this is the the longest point on my poncho and that's this what we're going to do now is kind of square this off a little bit so it's a little bit more equal when we go around for the for the uh neck or when we do the the collar so 
see right here is the stitch that we put the three double crochet, the chain three and the three double crochet. Starting with this stitch right here, I want you to count back 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And it's probably going to be where you, near where you started your yarn. So go in the beginning. So go ahead and start your yarn there again. Remember, wrong side of your work is facing you. So I'm going to start off with a chain one, and then I'm going to go back into that very same stitch that I started in, and I'm going to do a single crochet. Like that. And now what I'm going to do is th uh, one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So I'm going to work half doubles. So there's one. I'm going to try to hide that tail as I go. Two. And three. And now I'm going to work four double crochets in a row. So one double crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one. Two. Three and four. Now I'm going to do a triple crochet two together. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is it's gonna take two stitches and it's gonna make it into one. So I'm going to yarn over two times like I'm going to do a triple crochet, and I'm gonna go into the next stitch. And I'm going to draw up a loop and I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops and then I'm going to yarn over and go through the next two loops and I'm going to leave these two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over twice again like I'm going to do another crochet or another triple crochet and I'm going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two and yarn over and go through the next two. Now I'll have three stitches that remain, yarn over and go through all three loops. So that took two stitches and made them in to one. So I want to do that two more times over the next four stitches because it takes two stitches to make a um, triple crochet two together. So I'm going to yarn over twice again like I'm going to do a triple and I'm going to go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, yarn over twice again and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, three loops that remain, yarn over and go through all three. So you did a triple crochet three together again. Now we're going to do that triple crochet two together. I'm sorry. Now we're going to do that one more time over these next two stitches. So yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the next two. Yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go into the next two. Three loops remain. Yarn over and go through all three loops. So now we're going to work on and we're going to put one double crochet into the next four stitches. Double crochets now. So there's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to put one half double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And now what we're going to do is just put one single crochet in all the room in every stitch or remaining stitches all the way around the front of the poncho until you get back over here to where we first started. So we're just working single crochets now. 
just one single crochet <clears throat> in every stitch all the way around So no more decreasing or anything like that. It's just one single in every stitch all the way around the front of your poncho until you get over here to where we just started our yarn right here. Okay, I've made it back to my starting point. And you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the first single crochet. Now you should have 83 stitches all the way around. Because we started with at the beginning with 86, but we took away three stitches when we did these three uh, decreases right here, the triple crochet decreases. So you should have 83. Now, you know, that's not set in stone, it's not something that has to be perfect. So if you have somewhere close to that, you know, 82, 84, don't worry about it, it's not that big of a deal. But now it's it's came up a bit and it looks more straight, even with the rest of. The cow. So now we're going to start, or the rest of the poncho. So now we're going to start doing the cow neck. And that's just going to be rounds of double crochet. So we're just going to chain one and go right back into the same stitch and double crochet. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And this is how the cow neck is going to be formed with just rounds of double crochet. So I'm going to continue working one double crochet in every stitch until I get all the way around. Okay, I've made it back around after that row of double crochet. Now I'm just going to end with the slip stitch into my first double crochet and now I'm just going to repeat that last row until I get my uh, neck quite a bit longer so I'm able to fold it down. So I'm going to chain one, go right back into that same stitch and double crochet and I'm just going to work one double crochet in every stitch again all the way around. Now you still should be keeping your 83 stitches if that's what you had. Remember I said that if you we're off by one or two, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But 83 is what I have. So you should be keeping that same number every round. So what you want to do is just continue with rounds of double crochet. And I'm going to keep doing rounds of double crochet until I get my neck um, long enough that I can flip it over in the front and to where it looks right so I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm gonna do but I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do for the neck okay for the neck I went ahead and done a total of it was 10 rounds of the one double crochet in every stitch so counting that very first round where we decreased and we did the single crochet, if you count that one, it's 11 total. Or just 10 of the double crochet round. So what I'm going to do now is slip stitch into my first double crochet. Then I'm going to chain one. And now what I'm going to do is just work one single crochet in every stitch around. So I'm going to go back in that same stitch and single crochet and I'm going to work one single crochet every stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning. This is just going to be the, the finishing edge just to clean up the collar a little bit. Now if you want to make your collar taller that's fine. It's your poncho. You can do it however you want. 
So I'm just going to continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around after that row of single crochet, that would be that would have been the 12th round or row on your collar. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into the first one. Tie that off. Tie that tail and you are finished. Just slip your work right side out. Now, the collar looks like it's on the wrong side now, but when you flip it around, it will be right. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I gotta hide a few tails, but then I will be finished. Um, remember, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a share on Facebook or Pinterest and give it a like and please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials i have hundreds of them and don't forget to check out bagadaycrochet.com where you can find um, lots of videos uh, free patterns my blog um, giveaways when i have them so i'll and don't forget also to check out my facebook page i'll put a link to all that stuff below in the description box and until next time have a good day